Oh, missing as Carter backed away from that left. The combination by the champion again. Not too much of force that time. There's a hard left. Giardello hit on the chin, takes one of the nose, but then lands a hard right to the body of Carter. And Giardello coming on strong now, forcing Carter to miss twice at the bell, ending round 13. Well, Giardello is now displaying the technique of a true champion. He's forcing Carter to miss those the punches. He's belting in the stomach. He's working low in the stomach, the chest area, and he's staying away from those murderous punches of the Reuben Carter display. Les Kiter. All right, Hal, the experience showing through in that 13th round. Hurricane Carter with two more rounds to go after the champion. Left top of the head, Giardello out of the trouble. The cut eyebrow was sustained in round four and five. Since then, no trouble for Giardello's eye. Carter throwing heavy dynamite in close now. This is round 14. Watch Giardello bobbing, weaving, forcing Carter to miss. Left to the body by the champion. And forcing Carter to miss the countering left. Another left to the body by the champion. Carter with a left to the chin, but Giardello backing away. Carter with a light left to the eye. And bombs away in close. Joey really pelted him in the middle that time. But Carter with that laden right hand right after him. Carter very dangerous with a countering right after the body punches. A minute into round number 14. About five minutes left in this fight. Left to the body, the champion. And he's really getting home of that left. Conceivably, there's a left by Carter to the body. Conceivably, the champion winning in the last three rounds with a body attack. And then forcing Carter to miss, 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 and get tied up. Boy, does that experience show now. This is the longest Hurricane Carter has ever fought. We're in round 14. He's never been in a ring this long. In competition, that is. So the test, how, and a hard left to the chin by Joey Giardello, and that one registered. But Carter, still dangerous, left to the body by the champion, who then neatly ties him up. Experienced craftsman that he is, he's showing it now, the champ Joey Giardello. And a shade of desperation on the part of Hurricane Carter now, as Giardello works him in close. And you'll notice he fends off the attack, lets Carter miss, and then comes back to the body. Carter on the desperate side for the first time. Lands a hard left to the cheek. Late in round 14. Forcing Carter to miss the uppercut. Joey is very deft in tying up his opponent just at the height of his momentum. Takes a lot of the starch out of him, a hard left that was caught half on the glove by Carter. The bell in around 14. Well, it would be difficult at this time to venture a guess as to just who the winner will be at the end of the next round. But one thing we're sure less, those who predicted an early knockout. I think it's fair to relate, neither man has at any time. Neither man has been down. 15th and last round. The champion, Giardello, the champion, and the challenger, Carter, they smile, touch glove. Three minutes to go in the title fight. Carter knows he has to do it now. At least he gives that impression. We're not scoring. There's Carter rocking and rolling, and Giardello pretty well tied up that attack. It may be that Joey will be on the defensive throughout this round now if his corners told him he's ahead. Of course, the fight in Philadelphia, and Carter knows he's got to come on strong. Carter throwing bombs in the 15th. Who said he'd be through after four? This 
Bella is as dangerous now as he was at the outset. There's a heart right to the ear and a left by Carter. Right over our microphone and he begins to land. And Joey ties him up. Who knows what a big rally in the 15th will do for the challenger here. If it's close, look out. Two minutes left in the fight. Last round, left to the body, Carter. He continues to wing. A right that is taken on the elbow by Giardello. Less than two minutes remain. 15th and final round. Neither man down, neither man badly hurt thus far. And a right to the ear by Carter forced Joey to lift his elbow. Then he lands a right to the chin. Giardello countering again. Another left by Giardello, a right by Carter high on the head, and Giardello's left lands again. We're in the final minute and a half of the fight. Round number 15 at Convention Hall, and Joey misses a wild left. Right over our microphone now. And the crowd beginning to applaud. And this is a tribute to both men in a title fight here in the 15th and final round. Less than a minute to go in the final round of the fight. Joey Giardello, champion, Hurricane Carter, challenger. I think there's a lot of respect on both sides. There's a right by the champion, Carter, trying to catch him with a bomb. Joey remaining calm under pressure and just staying out of trouble. Joey just needling him now with his head. Carter missing a left. Joey ties him up, pounds to the body. A master champion who apparently is not going to be hurt in the final round. Listen to the crowd. tremendous fight listen to this crowd they're whistling and screaming and they're punching upstairs Carter misses takes a left listen to this fandom the fight is all but over left to the body it's all over and they smile look at that and that's the fight Joey Giardello against Ruben Hurricane Carter in the first championship bout to be telecast in five years. All brought to you by one beautiful beer, Schmitz of Philadelphia. When you watch a fight like this, you never know who is going to come out on top. But one thing you can be certain of, every time you open a Schmitz, you get beer. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official breakdown of this bout. Judge Jimmy Nina, Giardello, 69, Ruben Carter, 64. <laughs> Judge Dave Belloff, Giardello, 70. Carter, 67. No! Referee Bob Polis, Giardello, 72. Ruben Carter, 66, ladies and gentlemen. Y ahí están recibiendo las instrucciones de ritual del referí Jersey Joe Walcott, el ex campeón mundial de los pesos completos. Me imparte las instrucciones, naturalmente en inglés. Laguna, un poco más alto, tiene una estatura de 5'9", Ortiz tiene 5'7", hay más alcance por parte de Laguna. Es un peleador conceptuado como de los más rápidos de cualquier de esta división. Y en la voz de la soprano, Mirta Vergel, se va a escuchar ahora la borinqueña, el himno de Puerto Rico. La borinqueña interpretado por la soprano. Panamá para transmitirles a nombre de la cabalgata deportiva Chile la pelea de esta noche entre Carlos Ortiz, el monarca mundial de las 135 libras y el retador Ismael Laguna que hizo un peso de 132 libras Ortiz hizo 134 y tres cuartos, como dijimos al principio el campeón mundial eh, ha hecho un cuarto de libras por debajo y sale con una izquierda fuerte Ortiz a la cabeza de Laguna